This is BK1 arriving at Edwards Air Force Base in California a couple of weeks ago. She's a very special F-35 Lightning II, the first to be operated independently by British pilots and ground crew. That honour goes to personnel from 17 Reserve Squadron. We're out at Edwards in a very privileged position as we're the United States Air Force's closest partner and we're involved in the operational test and evaluation of the F-35. We represent 10% of the entire program for every F-35 uh, and our core role is to bring the F-35 into service and provide the, the advice for the users that will take it onto the front line. That Royal Navy and RAF personnel are now operating this independently of the US is seen as a major milestone in the F-35 program. It's a sign that slowly but surely this innovative multi-role fighter is getting closer to the day that it will actually be in service. It's a capability that we've just never seen before. One, it's fifth generation, which means that it's stealthy, it can't be seen by enemy radars. And the suite of avionics, the way it blends everything together, again, ties with what we term fused together um, in a capability that means that the pilot can do far, far more than he's ever thought he'd be able to before. It's a big year for 17 Reserve Squadron. Not only are they testing BK-1 at Edwards, but they're also celebrating their centenary. The historic at the very heart of this latest in fast jet testing and proving. F-35 has been a complex multinational effort. 15% of each airframe is constructed by BAE Systems at their Wharton plant in Lancashire. The rest assembled by partners like Lockheed Martin and Pratt & Whitney. There are three variants. The UK will take the B, which is the short takeoff and vertical landing design, a touch Harrier-like, perfect for the new Queen Elizabeth-class carriers. The technology available in this is, is game-changing um, and will assist the Navy, the Army and the RAF in absolutely everything we do. Britain's taken delivery of three F-35s to date, all currently based in the States. Although BK-1 is billed as the first, and there were celebrations at Edwards Air Base yesterday to mark that fact, she won't actually become operational. That honour goes to BK-3, just arrived at a base in South Carolina. The F-35 Lightning II will begin operational service at RAF Marham in Norfolk from 2018. Tim Cooper, Forces News.